the birthday cake. For those who have played The Sims as a franchise, are probably aware of what this cake represents. And in my last video, I said one of the Sims in the C31 household is going to start the aging up process. That's right, C831, he is officially ready to become a child. He has maxed out every ability that a toddler could ever have. We see him breathe that birthday cake. And we get to see CA31 male eventually age up. CA31 aged up. Select an aspiration and trait to replace trait independent. Let's try either creativity, mental, motor, or social. And the thing about this playthrough is that the child shall be a contrast to the parents. So let's make our little child here mental. And he gets the trait of... I guess we'll make him a nerd. And CA31's skills as a toddler earned a bonus trait. See all CA31's bonus traits in the Symology panel. Childhood, boundless creativity, rule breaking, and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. So yeah. That is our current child. Let's have him eat some cake. Have C31 guy go to work the old fashioned way. And let's see wherever C31 girl is. She's there right now. Let's go and try to plan CA31's outfits since he is a little bit different from who he was as a toddler. Plus, he currently kind of looks weird with his current outfit. And. Well, let's see what C through one girl deigns to give C A three one male as a hairstyle and how we will see him from now on. Just got to wait for the loading screen here. Which in retrospect is a lot less dynamic compared to The Sims 3 where you actually saw Sims doing stuff which showed what kind of pack each expansion represents. So we have C31 girl here in city living clothes C31 guy also in city living clothes. Mm. And here is C831 male. Let's try making the motif make sense by giving him his own <laughs> child <laughs> version oh, yeah. of. Ooh. City living clothing. 
I guess we could try something somewhat casual and I guess something similar to his parents by giving him something with a lot of yellow in it. Let's give him some pants. Maybe something like that one. Or Okay, you know what? I'll just try something like... Huh. I guess there's not really much for rhyming or actually making sense. Or let's just reference the Journey to Batu game pack by giving him this Java shirt thing as... Hmm. A joke. I know this might seem mean, but at the very least, it's something different. And he might be a lot safer in something like that. And as we can see, as a child, he now gets his own magic spell slinging ability. Yes! He is not Ula! an actual spellcaster, but we can at least see some interesting developments in his powers. Also, no child of a see-through ones is going to be pierced ears. So, let's Rilla! try... <laughs> Something like that. That looks kind of formal. Let's next give him maybe some fancy shoes. Give him some socks there too. And as we can see, the clothes of a child are surprisingly similar to the adult. Let's see what other kinds of clothes he'll need to wear. Let's also do something somewhat similar to I guess other sims in my files let's just give him this skeleton jacket thing to sleep and let's give some consideration on what his partying clothes will look like. I mean, I could make it all a case of cultural appropriation, but right, let's just take a look at maybe something I guess Modern, we shall give him this child stuff or kid stuff outfit. And let's give him some neat shoes next. Let's give him some socks there too. And if we are to look at the everyday clothing, we can find out that some of his clothes include this weird helmet thing. 
Uh, right. Well, let's change something up here. We can try this. And now we can take a look to see that thanks to some earlier manipulations, I have given CA31 this neat looking hat. A Kabuto Mushi, I think it's called. And to make everything make sense, let's give him some semi appropriate wear here. I'm not sure why he doesn't have more traditional looking sandals or whatever, but somehow I think that hat's only child exclusive, so let's get a move on here. Yeah, let's get rid of the glasses and those earrings. Now let's try the swimming wear. Let's start with that. Just some swimming trunks. And now for some decent hot weather clothes. Let's just have this weird fish outfit thing. Maybe we can give him these sandals here. Or those loafers. Those are working. And now we just need to find a good pair of winter wear or cold weather clothing. Let's give him some very convenient looking clothing here. And I think we have most of what CA31 can wear. And there you have it. I have my offspring who is going to look like this weird little mutant creature and that is the stepping stone for the C31 family I will see you later and next time we can see some of the new skills this little mutant will be able to learn in The Sims 4. So I shall see you later and please like and subscribe.